lunch was delicious, but perhaps not quite as sweet with one chair empty. One word said. And, but the memories uh, are really going to keep all of us going. Memories formed over decades of Saturday lunch with Ed Koch. It was often the Peking Duck House, so they chose it again this time. But normally picking the restaurant wasn't so easy. They'd first gather at Koch's apartment at 1230, and then... Someone would yell and, and say, where are we eating? And he would, and he would say, how about Aqua Grill? And someone else would say, how about Peking Duck? Someone else would say, Peter Luger. The votes would be tallied, though Koch had preferences. As long as it was greasy and garlicky, it was fine. And came quick. Ed's general view was about a minute after you order, the food should come. And don't bother with a fancy muffin basket either. He would say, have you got some bread? As for Peking Duck, he loved the tale. Koch started coming here in 1978 when the restaurant opened and he entered City Hall. When he visit China, go to Beijing, he tell me New York duck better than Beijing. The lunches date back to the 1960s. Koch was a city councilman making political connections. We would try and invite other people so he would meet politically, you know, he was thinking of the future. It paid off, of course. There was a 12-year lunch break when Koch was at City Hall. And then after he lost in 1989, the lunches resumed. We wanted to keep the family together. We're the family. It's unclear whether the group will meet with the same frequency without the mayor. The former mayor's funeral will be held Monday at Temple Emmanuel on the Upper East Side. He'll then be buried further uptown at Trinity Cemetery in Washington Heights. Koch chose his own burial plot. He said he could never imagine leaving Manhattan. In Chinatown, Josh Robin, New York One.